If I, uh, if I get the right house, does Mr. Blair live here? Yes. Yes, come in quickly. Quickly. Okay. You're Joe Haskell, aren't you? That's right. I knew you were coming. That is, I knew Nicholas had sent for you. Well, isn't he here? I, he had to go out for just a few minutes. But he'll be right back. Well, who are you? My name is Angelique. I'm supposed to be Nicholas's secretary. <laughs> well, aren't you? No. No, not really. Well, who are you, then? If I tell you the truth, can I trust you? Well, yeah. Let me look at you. You have an honest face. I think I can trust you. Look, uh, why do you need to trust me? Wait. What are you doing? I'm looking to see if Nicholas is coming back. He's not. We've just a few minutes to talk. Well, I, I don't understand any of this. Now, who are you? Why, why are you pretending to be somebody that you're not? Nicholas is forcing me to pretend. <laughs> Forcing you? Yes. I need your help. I need it desperately. Are you willing to help me? Well, how? I've got to escape from Nicholas. And I need someone's help to do it. Escape? Yes, he's holding me here, a prisoner against my will. What? That's right. He's keeping me here in this house, and I can't get away from him. Oh. See, has an enormous hold over me. And I can't break that hold without someone's help. Well, look, why don't you just call the police? Oh, no, you don't understand. Oh, it's not that simple. That's right, I don't understand. Now, why don't you just tell me who you are and, and what's going on? I can't, I don't have time. He walked through that door any moment. If he even suspects that I said anything to you, he'll... He'll... You're terrified of him, aren't you? Every reason to be. Why? What's he done to you? Terrible things. I can't begin to tell you. Well, I think you better begin to tell the sheriff. Come on, I'll take you down to the sheriff's office right now. I can't. I can't do that. Nicholas would be furious. He'd, He'd try to harm me. Would you protect me? Yeah, sure, if it, if it comes to that. Yeah. Am I really going to escape? Am I really going to be free? <laughs> oh, now look. <laughs> Come on, now, don't, don't cry. I can't help it. It's such a relief knowing that someone is willing to help look, me. Look, Blair is not going to harm you. We'll just, we'll just keep him away from you. I'm so relieved. You have no idea. I know I'm acting very foolishly, but... Do you mind if I just put my head on your shoulder? No, of course not. If it will make you feel better. It's... Oh. You're kind. You're so very kind. Well, just stop, stop crying. You're going you're to be all right. Yes. Yes, I am going to be all right. Now. No harm is going to come to you. Not if I have anything. Well, my dear, I see you did what you were instructed to do. Yes. And are you satisfied now? Yes. I'm glad you chose him. I rather like him. I thought you would be happy with my choice. What happens now? After he awakens, I will send him home. Oh, no. Oh, don't. Don't worry, my dear. He will come to you whenever you need him. He needs you now as much as you need him. Yes. Yes, he needs me. He's beginning to awaken. Leave the room now. I want to talk to him. Uh, 
Yo. Blair. How do you feel? I'm not sure. Do you feel well enough to sit up? I guess so. You'd uh, better cover your neck. You know what happened to me, don't you? Oh, I can hardly help it. No, the evidence is right there. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Where is she? I want to see her. I sent her out of the room for a moment so we could talk. She told me you're keeping her prisoner here. Oh, that's nonsense. Is it? I'll prove it to you. Angelique. Your friend wants to see you. Good. I wanted to see you too. Uh, Joe has somehow gotten the impression that I'm keeping you a prisoner here. Tell him the truth. Nicholas isn't keeping me prisoner. Why did you tell me he was? Well, I meant that I felt like a prisoner here. But that was before I met you. Now I'm happy to be here because I'm near you. There's so much going on that I don't understand. Don't try to understand. Just... Just submit to your needs as I do. I shouldn't even be here. But you want to be here, don't you? Yes. Still, you won't tell anyone that you were here, will you? No. It's nearly dawn, Angelique. You had better go. Oh, yes. Yes, I must. Well, I uh, would suggest that you go home now. It's nearly morning. Have I really been here all night long? Oh, yes. Your uh, stay was rather lengthy. How am I going to explain it? You uh, were supposed to be someplace else last night? Yes, I was supposed to see Barnabas Collins. And, and I had a date with... With Maggie? Yes, Maggie. Well, I'm sure you'll think of some suitable explanation. I've never lied to Maggie before. Well, there is always a first time for everything. She mustn't know about this. Don't tell her. Don't worry. It will be our little secret. You need me just as I need you. You must come to me. Now. You need me. You want me. Come. Come to me. I want her. I can't resist her any longer. I can't! You're trying to rob a grave. I wasn't. Come on, Willie. I'm taking you to the police. Leave me alone. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Please. Come to me, Joe. Come to me. That voice. What voice? Come to me, Joe Haskell. Come. 
I can't listen. I can't hear anything. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. What are you going to do? You're going to take me to the police? I should. Now look, I, I, I haven't done anything wrong. Please, I swear I haven't. I know what I should do. I know. Hear me, Joe Haskell. I command you to hear me. I command you to obey me. Come to me. Come to me. No? I know what's happening. I can't let it happen. I can't. What are you talking about? What are you thinking about? You're trying to think whether or not you should take me to the police? Is that what you're trying to think? Is that what you're trying to decide? I can't decide anything. The decision's hey. already been made. Hey, where are you going, Haskell? Are you going to the police? I'm going where I have to go. Hey, Haskell, now don't go, huh? Hey, please! Hey, please! I've been expecting you. I didn't want to come here. Well, then why did you? It's you. You came because you wanted to see me. No. I don't. I wish I'd never seen you. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. I, I don't understand what you're doing to me. I don't understand why you have this power over me. It's only the power of love. I don't love you. I love Maggie Evans. I don't even know you. My name is Angelique. And yours is Joe. That's all we need to know about each other. I don't want to be here. I hate myself for being here. You won't feel that way for long. Come to me. No. Oh. Come to me and put your arms around me. No, I won't. You know it's useless to resist. Come to me. I don't know. You are right. Yes, I think so. You happy? Yes. Good. So am I. Your eyes. I can't look away from them. Don't try to look away. You belong to me now. You understand that, don't you? Yes. You must remember that. You must never try to resist me again. I want to resist you, but I can't. Why do you want to resist me? I shouldn't be here. Why not? The places I should be. Other places. You belong here, and nowhere else. The hospital. I should be at the hospital. Why? My cousin. Tom James. There's an old night whether he'll come out of his coma, and I, 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 I should be there. Tom Jennings will die. No. It's the 
the way life is. You'll die. Maggie. What about her? I should be with Maggie. Forget about her. No, I can't. You will in time. No, oh, I'm in love with her. Do you need me? Yes. I need you. In time, your need for me will prove stronger than your love for Maggie. You'll see. I wish I could think when I'm with you, but I can't. Try to think. It's useless. Just as it's useless to try to resist me. I'm beginning to believe that. This evening, when you were, when you were on your way here, something was interfering. What was it? It was the graveyard. Graveyard? It's like I came across the cemetery at Eagle Hill. I, I found Willie Loomis there. What was Willie Loomis doing in the graveyard, Joe? Where did you come from? The other room. Were you listening to us all this time? I overheard part of your conversation. I found the last part quite interesting. Now you listen to me. You've got no right to eavesdrop on Why us. Why not? I have every right. It's my house. Nicholas, let us have a few moments alone together. No, my dear. I want to talk to Joe for a moment. Go to your room now. Nicholas, please. Go to your room. I don't want her to go. Listen, you don't have to take orders from him. I'm afraid I do. But I'll see you again. Soon. Very soon. What right do you have to give her orders? Huh? What's your power over her? What's the power of this house? I will ask the question. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean I've got to answer them. Yes, it does. Or I will not allow you to see Angelique again. You only see her when I allow you to. Your power over is that strong? Yes. And consequently, so is my power over you. So I would suggest that you answer a few simple questions. All right. What was Willie Loomis doing in the graveyard? He was digging up a grave. And did you stop him? Naturally, I told him I'd go to the police. But you didn't do that, did you? No, I came here first. Good. Excellent. Why does that please you? Never mind. I should go to the police. No. You'll do something else. Something I will tell you to do. And if you want to see Angelique again, you will obey. going? Uh, in to see Mr. Jennings. Are you a relative? No, I'm his lawyer. Sorry. <laughs> but I must see him. Now, I, I know you have very strict orders, and I understand, but it is absolutely imperative that Mr. I speak... Mr. Blair. <laughs> Hello, Maggie. Well, how nice of you to stop by and ask about Tom. They won't let me in. Really? Is he serious? No, he's improving. Oh, thank goodness. May I put these flowers in his room? Of course, Maggie. Thank you. I don't understand. You let Miss Evans in. She has permission from the doctor. Tom? Tom? Tom, it's Maggie. Maggie. Joe and I have been here every day. We're so glad that you're getting better. Maggie? Yes. Joe's working, but he'll stop by tonight. Is there anything you want him to bring you? 
You're going to be all right now, Tom. We're both so relieved that you're going to be all right. Maggie. What? What is it, Tom? Uh, coffin. What? Room, room, the coffin. Coffin? Tom, you've had a nightmare. No. The house, the room, the, the coffin. It's... it's time to go. Well, must I leave now? I'm sorry. He should get a little rest. No, don't go. The house there is. I call Get Joe. Get Joe. I, I will, Tom. I promise. I will. Yes. Rest, Tom. Just rest. I uh, I waited for you. I hope you don't mind. Uh, no, I. I'm glad you did. You know, Maggie, I'm sure this must be a very fine hospital. They are so preoccupied with their patients that a visitor can't get any information at all. Is Tom Jennings out of his coma? Yes. Well, then he's going to be all right. That's wonderful. I... Well, has something new developed? I, do, I don't mean to be overly curious, but his accident did happen after he had left my house, and I, I do feel I owe him a certain responsibility. He's just not himself. What? Oh, you never knew Tom, did you? Oh, no, only uh, that one day. He was always so happy. I, I don't think he even had a, a gloomy thought. And, and now suddenly he's talking about coffins. Coffins? Well, he must think he's going to die. That has to be it. He kept saying, that room, that room, a coffin. He just kept repeating it over and over. I told him he'd had a nightmare. Well, you don't actually think that he saw a coffin, do you, Maggie? Well, perhaps he did. Perhaps it's some terrible memory. He'll tell Joe tonight. Maybe he will. He and Joe are very close. They're cousins. I didn't know that. They tell each other everything. Well, in that case, Maggie, you shouldn't worry about anything. Your Joe will take care of everything. I'm positive of that. Well, you're feeling better, though. About, about that, we were pretty worried about you. Maggie, when she was here this afternoon, she said you were both coming tonight. Uh, she couldn't. She, uh, she wanted to, but she couldn't. Well, I'm glad. I, I wanted to talk to you. Joe, Joe, I want you to go to the police. How would I do that? You have got to tell them I am not the kind of person that tells lies. I'm the kind of person that tells the truth. Will, will you tell them that? Yes, what about, Tom? Listen, I don't know. Because it does sound strange and funny. It, things like this don't happen, but it, it did. It, it happened to me. What? Go on, tell me. Well, that, that, that guy Blair. That's when it started. And I saw that coffin. You don't believe me, do you? I know Nicholas Blair very well. There's no coffin there. Oh, Joe, if you don't believe that, you won't believe any of it. There is a coffin, a room downstairs. Joe, you gotta help me. Tell me the rest of it, Tom. I left the house. I was walking through the woods, trying to get back to town. It was dark. When I first remembered this, I thought I had a nightmare, but it wasn't. It really happened. What happened? This, this beautiful girl. What'd she look like? Can you describe her? Oh, I'll never forget her. Blonde, uh, uh, strange eyes. I never heard her. Some, some sound, noise, like, like wings or a bird. And I turned around, and there she was, just standing there, looking at me. Uh, sort of, sort of funny. What happened then? She came toward me and had her arms outstretched. I just couldn't move. Couldn't move. She did this to me. She did this to me. Oh, you don't believe me, do you? I believe you. You do? 
Oh, Joe, thank God, will you go to the police? Will you tell them that you believe me? What is it? Joe, you're not just telling me you believe me. No. You will go. Yes, I'll go. Oh, thank Come you, see Joe. you tomorrow. Thank you. For what? For this, I've been lying here, worrying about how they think I was nuts and all, and... Oh, but if you think I'm not crazy, it's... What are you doing? Don't you think it's hot in here? Oh, no! Really? It's... It is hot. If you must be pretty tired, why don't you try and get some sleep? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I, I sure am. It's, it's a load off my mind, Joe. It, it sure is. I know. Good night. Ah. Oh.